roses are red, violets are blue. When the Sea Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time, and it starts now. All right, guys, we welcome Kara to the Sea Morning Zoo. Hello. Hey, guys. Who would you like us to put to the test today? Uh, my boyfriend, Paul. Okay, why are we putting Paul to the test? Okay, so before we started dating, Paul had a girlfriend, his ex, named Natalie, and they broke up, um, and shortly after that, we started dating, but honestly, the first, like, Two months of us dating was all talk about Natalie. All, all I heard about was like, Natalie and I did this or that or... Yeah, you know. it can be frustrating when you're batting cleanup like that. I mean, every restaurant you go to, it's like, yeah, I went here once with my ex. Every concert you go to, it's like, yeah, I saw them one time with my ex. Yes, exactly. Thank you. So I, I stuck it out. I hung in there and eventually she got a new boyfriend. So that really helped. But then fast forward a year later and... Natalie got dumped by that boyfriend after he cheated on her. Oh. So, guess who she cried to about all of that? Texting, <laughs> calling, and crying. I'm going to guess Paul. <laughs> yep. And I told him, you know, like, I understand you're trying to be there for her. She was your ex. She was a part of your life. But try not to forget who was there for you when she broke up with you. Like, you have a better girlfriend now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well said. <laughs> okay, so I guess we are putting Paul to the test to make sure that the, his priorities are straight in his love life. Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to offer Paul a dozen roses that he could send anybody he wants. You're going to get to hear who he chooses and what he puts on the card, okay? Yeah, okay. And remember, don't say anything until after he fills out that card. Uh, time for the two questions we ask every War of the Roses participant. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Yeah. All right. And question two, how certain are you that when we offer him these roses to send to somebody, he's going to pick you to send them to? Oh, I, I mean, that's the whole reason we're doing this. I should know, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, let's find out. Darling at random. Hello. Good morning. I'm calling for a Paul Hayden, please. This is him. Good morning, Paul. My name's Ashley, and I'm calling from floraldesigns.com. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I called is because you won some free flowers from us through the Visa Rewards Program. And every month, how it works is Visa picks different users to receive prizes from different companies like ours. And this month, you were one of the winners. So I've got a huge bouquet of long-stemmed red roses here just waiting to send to you. Are you serious? (laughs) Yep, I sure am. And the reason I'm calling is I, yeah, I need an address to send them to. Or, you know, also, if you'd rather have us send them to somebody else as a gift, we can do that, too. Now, a lot of the guys that we've been calling preferred we sent the flowers to their wife or girlfriend. And you can totally do that, too. And it's completely free of charge. So do you want the flowers for yourself? Or is there a lucky lady we're sending them to today? Man, well, uh, I don't know. I've never been in this situation. Nobody ever sends me flowers. So, yeah, send them to you. can send them to somebody. Uh, yeah, let me think. Um, wait, what did you... You said they were roses or... Yes, they're long-stemmed red roses. They're very romantic, uh, yeah. So okay. if you have, yeah, if you have a wife, I'm guessing, you know, she would love these. No, no wife. Uh, I do have a few friends I could choose, though. Okay, well, all I need is a first and last name. All right, okay, so uh, Natalie... Natalie, okay. And the flowers, they also come with a card, and we can print any message you want on it. So what message would you like on the card? Oh, wow. Uh, Okay, Um, I have to say, if you were serious about leaving for California, let's talk. I think I'm in. And uh, also, I have to say, love, or, uh, yeah, love Polly. Are you f***ing kidding me? Seriously? Do not send her those flowers. What? You called me crazy all the time you spent talking to her and texting her, and all I asked was that you cut her off, and you said I was crazy for thinking anything was going on. Well, obviously, I wasn't crazy. Uh, Paul. Did I? Wait, wait. Did I click over or something? 
I I was just on the phone uh, with someone else. Well, Paul, hold on, Paul. Let me clear this up for you. This this is not a flower company you've been talking to. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo radio show. And right now you're on War of the Roses. Kara wanted us to what? put you to yeah. Kara wanted us to put you to the test and see oh. who you would send these flowers to. I think she was worried that you might choose Natalie. Look, look, yeah, that was exactly hold, right, wasn't I? Kara, hold on a second now, okay? I send my friends some flowers <laughs> because you know I've already told you that she's going through a hard time, a seriously bad, bad breakup, and you're upset because I'm trying to do my friend a favor. She's not your girlfriend, and I'm upset because of what you put on the card. When were you even going to tell me you were thinking about leaving? That's extremely serious. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. So, wait. This is the same girl that you told yeah. me, and I quote, I don't give a shit if you sleep with her or not. So. I don't. I don't I, care if you sleep with her, but I never said go be with right, her. I never said so, leave me and move to f***ing California with this girl. Okay, what? okay so wait. So, <laughs> wait. So, Carrie, no. you, so you wouldn't be upset if he slept with her just if he moves away to be with her? No, I don't care. That's not, that doesn't mean as much. I don't care if he sleeps with her. He probably already has anyways, but I'm not going to lose another boyfriend. Like, seriously, like the last one I got, got reassigned and another one ended up in jail. And I'm not going to lose another boyfriend oh. that I invested all this time oh, in. Okay, this, this I mean, got really weird. Does anybody else think the old boyfriend asked to get reassigned? So, so Paul, if I asked you right now to choose between staying here with Kara, who obviously loves you, or moving to California to be with your ex, what would be your answer? I mean, I don't know. Okay. See, well, that tells me a lot right there, Kara. Yeah. It tells me that you better get your shit together or I'm gone. The Z-Morning Zoo's War of the Roses.